Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for June 2nd, 2021. Well, doggone it, yesterday, I would have to say that resistance, price resistance, won the day, even though we had the pre-market futures really pumping and pumping and pumping and trying to push the markets to new record highs. Resistance won the day. But what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, grab ourselves something to drink, and let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastic morning. Yesterday's price action hopefully um, wasn't a major surprise to you with that big gap up as we talked about yesterday, those possibilities for the pop and drop and respecting price resistance in the chart. Let's take a look at these charts this morning, see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. So first off, let's take a look and remember that we do have a trend here that we're holding on to in the Dow. That continues to hold in force and look pretty darn good. Yesterday, we pushed on up here with a big gap up. As a matter of fact, we tried to really engineer the market higher. And I, I say this because it just seemed like a complete institutional engineering gap trying to attract in money. And then almost immediately after the open, sellers came in and pulled it back. So be careful with this, guys, because the market seems to be loving this kind of price action anymore, where we're playing lots and lots of games in the pre-market, trying to inspire some kind of bullish or bearish energy, getting everyone wrapped up going one direction, and then they kind of yank the carpet out from under um, everyone in that scenario. So watch that pretty carefully. Now, when we look at the technicals here, we have a few things to pay attention to. First, let's recognize that we ran into some price resistance in the chart and resistance did its job. We saw a pushback. We saw a little bit of defense by the bears there in that area. However, it wasn't definitive. Even though we left behind, this is what is considered a dark cloud cover, and that possibility that we have a lower high or a double top high in the diamonds, we didn't really break down um, to, to be a, a, a bearish chart. Let's take a look. If we look at some price support in here, notice that we held that price support yesterday in the diamonds. So we didn't really break this down. What's going to be important today is what occurs next. If we were to get a follow through that pushed this down to today, that would be a, a negative follow through for the market. And that would increase the concern or the uncertainty in the market, I would say rather dramatically. However, as you can see in the pre-market here, we're trying to pump up the pre-market um, once again, trying to say, hey, nothing happened here. There's nothing to worry about. We're trying to hold on to this price support area in the chart. So let's keep a close eye on that. What's going to make the difference probably today is that ADP jobs number, whether we find inspiration there or not. Watch that closely. If we go to the SPY, SPY, SPY probably had the, well, had the best chance of breaking out yesterday. Once again, we, we have this trend. We're kind of holding on to trend here in this chart. We have a chart that is trying to um, um, show lots of bullishness in, in areas, but there are some concerns left behind yesterday. And that is we pushed up here yesterday and within 10 ticks, we missed it by 10 ticks of breaking out to a new record high. And then we left behind a bearish engulfing pattern on the day. So normally this would be a, oh my gosh, um, you better start really protecting yourself. But Let's also take a look at the fact that this price support held. We didn't break down that price support at all. 
So kind of keep that in mind. We're trying to hold in this price area in the chart. Now, one thing I do want to point out, and I should have mentioned this in the Dow as well, it is entirely possible that we just, it, rather than break to a new record high or break down, it's entirely possible that we could just continue to drift out here, filling out this wedge in the chart. And that's also true of the diamond. So keep an eye on that. Once again, today we might get that reaction to that uh, jobs number that could be bullish or bearish. So watch that carefully. And I don't think that um, if we hold a bullish pattern, if we hold price support, I don't think we have anything majorly wrong here in the chart, even with that bearish engulfing and that possible double top. What will add to the concern is if we close lower today. Should we close lower today and fail, follow through with that dark candle, that's where some real fear will start to come in and some major concern could be happening. Some technical breakdowns will begin to occur if that were to happen. So watch that closely. We can't be, don't put on your rose colored glasses, but don't also be running for the door thinking that the sky is falling because I don't think that's true yet. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now we know the QQQ continues to have some challenges here with overhead price resistance. And yesterday we sure didn't see the big tech following through, showing lots and lots of energy with Microsoft and Apple and, and uh, um, a lot of those big techs turning lower on the day, seeing some selling pressure. However, we didn't break things down. Let's take a look. We ran into some price resistance in the chart here and we reacted negatively to that price resistance. We have to fess up to the fact that yesterday ended the day with a bearish engulfing candle. Certainly a bearish possibility exists in this chart. We also are holding above a price support and above our 50 day moving average in the chart. So if we were to follow through to the downside, let's keep in mind that we would contact that 50 day moving average here rel relatively soon in that chart. So if we were to contact that 50 day moving average, we could find support in there. So I don't think we have any major damage here just yet, but it would add to the concern of a potential lower high in the market if that were to occur. However, if we don't break this down, if we continue to hold in this little consolidation, what you have to look at here is this is the possible bull flag or that possible bullish pattern that could occur if the bulls can find inspiration to push that back up. So kind of keep a close eye on that. We're still going to have, even if we push back up, we still have significant challenges ahead of us with all this price resistance in the chart. So watch that closely, but we may not be ready to just um, move lower just yet. We may have to challenge these areas up here and who knows, maybe we can break through um, for those um, to the upside. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM continues to just chop in this wide range and we have reasons for concern here um, and yet we have reasons for a little hope as well. Could we break down from this point? And I think the answer we have to come up with on that is yes, there's a lot of price resistance right here in this chart. However, we also have to admit that we broke back above the 50 day moving average. We have some price support levels that have been created in the chart. And we have this really short term little trend underway. So it all depends on how we deal with this and react. Now, energy has been really, really good um, the last few days here holding um, IWM up. Energies, financials, healthcare have done a really good job of holding this up. If they continue to do so, then we could continue to press against these resistance levels in the chart. But let's make no mistake here, folks. This is really not a bearish chart. This is a chart largely going sideways, looking for direction. And so we have about a 50-50 shot. This could go either way. So be really, really careful here with the Russell. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now the VIX, I made some mention of this with the big bullish push that we had yesterday. We really should have seen the VIX breaking down below this support, but that didn't occur. 
it didn't happen. As a matter of fact, we bounced right off of that area almost immediately, putting in a bit of a, well, maybe a concerning pattern here on the VIX, kind of a morning star pattern, holding at price support. However, we remain underneath price resistance in this chart. Take a look, there's that big price resistance level in here. So I don't think any major damage was created here in this VIX chart just yet. What we're going to wanna to watch is if we continue to push this up into this area, we wanna see a failure at that resistance. That is, if you're bullish in the market, we wanna see a failure at that point. If you're bearish in the market, what you wanna be looking for is for that to push through that resistance, hold that support, and then show follow through selling in the market. That's where some real selling or concern could come. But until that occurs, anything under here, I think we have to give that to the bulls um, overall. Let's take a look at um, our T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And right now, T2122, even though we had that pullback yesterday after that big morning pop, that we are still up here in that bearish reversal zone. So we need to respect that possibility that um, as we press and press and try to break out to these highs, we are reaching those overbought levels um, for the short term. So watch that closely. We still have some upside opportunity, as you can see, if we can find some inspiration. And that may be just enough to get us some new record highs, but then we're going to be in a seriously overbought condition if that were to occur with that possible big open hole to the downside here that we could slip into. So. Watch that carefully um, and be cognizant of the fact that of the danger that we are in right now with resistance highs, possible topping patterns. But yet again, we have that support level underneath that could pro provide us some hope. So we're kind of sitting right in the middle of the fence. We're trying to make that decision. Are we going to tip one way or the other? And I think it's all gonna be in the price data um, to give us those clues. So stay focused on that price action and don't become complacent here. Let's take a look at our T2101. T2101 had a little bit of an increase yesterday and that is a concern on a sell wave of the market where the market gapped and pulled back we saw a little bit of increase in market breadth. However, it wasn't enough of an increase to say, hey, the wheels are coming off of our wagon here. Um, we've got a, a, a very odd situation as we continue to press and press and press in this market um, that we can't seem to break some of these big um, trends here. We can't seem to get the market breadth moving um, to find that momentum in the market. Let's keep a close eye on that. That still raises some significant concerns for me um, because we're just not getting that market breadth. So watch that closely. As we you know, slide into the summer, we also want to think about market breadth could be struggling with this possibility that everyone's coming out from under the COVID restrictions. Folks have, it, have been pent up for so long. They just want to go out and enjoy the sunshine. They want to go out and enjoy the summer. They want to do some traveling, those kind of things. We could really see volumes really shrink in the market. Um, we normally see a shrink in market volumes during the summer. It could really become prevalent this year just because of coming out of those COVID restrictions and people wanting to get out and go do things. So watch that carefully. This may be a problem that persists for a while in that market breadth. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And I've alluded to this a couple of times on our economic calendar. We have a couple of things that we want to pay attention to. First thing this morning, we got that ADP jobs report. Now, if you remember that April ADP missed horribly, I mean, wow. Um, and I mean really missed, um, expectations came in low at 266,000. Um, today we have um, expectations of around 680,000. So the, the mark has been set pretty low for an improvement and we'll want to watch that pretty closely. An improvement here could certainly bring in those bulls 
and hold things up and uh, push things. However, if that number were to come in really hot with all the concerns that we have on inflation, that could raise some of those concerns on that. So really stay in your toes here and focus in on that price action. Anything I think is possible on this ADP. Now, I will also say that ADP isn't nearly as important as it used to be. Um, it, it used to be that ADP was just would seemingly be right on the money and, and be that leading indicator for the employment situation number on Friday. But it has been less of that for some time now. So um, it may not have as much impact as I think. Um, we could see the market kind of spinning around here. Um, resting as we wait for this number on Friday. So keep that in mind as well. We could do a sideways, just rest in here. Um, you also wanna make mention that we've got a parade of Fed speakers today. They're all out there saying um, inflation is transitory. You know, it's kind of like being, you know, we're, we're, just, we're just partially pregnant right now when it comes to inflation. And some of them are beginning to say, however, it may persist for the years ahead. So kind of like, you know, we're just a little pregnant and, but the years ahead could be a little challenging. <laughs> Let's take a look. We also have Beige Book this afternoon. I don't know if that'll have much of an effect on the market. We'll want to watch that closely. Keep in mind, jobless claims tomorrow. We have our biggest day with jobless claims and um, some of those PMI and ISM numbers tomorrow. But then um, we could just see the market get stale and, and, and wait as uh, for that employment situation number on Friday and the Powell speech. Um, on Friday as well. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, pretty light today. We have 19 companies listed. A number of those companies are um, unconfirmed uh, reports for today. So um, of the confirmed reports, the notables, whoops, the notables that I came up with today are uh, few. There's just not too many of them, but let's take a look. Um, Advanced Auto Parts, that'll be um, an important one. Um, auto, auto manufacturers, auto sales have been very, very strong um, this last year. But notice that AEP has broken its upside trend and pulling back. However, we're trying to break that little downtrend to the upside little pop and drop so far in the pre-market activity here on AAP, so watch that closely. Um, we have CLDR. Now, I don't know what the news was on this, but yesterday, prior to the earnings, this thing gapped huge. I don't know what the news was on it, but big gap up. Looks like earnings are not doing much to give that a follow through here. Um, don't know what happened there. You guys might want to investigate that. Um, but that's certainly notable for today. How about um, Land's End? Um, retailers have had a, a brilliant year, beautiful year. And notice as we headed into earnings, this had a huge surge heading into earnings. It looks like we're trying to surge just a little more this morning in the pre-market. Keep an eye on the price resistance levels in this chart. That could be significant um, in that uh, trade. Let's take a look at NetApp. NetApp will be reporting today. Oops, there we go. NetApp will be reporting today. Keep a close eye on that. This has been in a nice upside trend. You can see channeling here pretty well. Um, keep a close eye on that. We're down at the bottom side of that channel. So um, earnings report could be important as to whether we'll hold on to that channel or if we slip down below. Take a look at PVH. PVH reporting today. Dealing with some resistance highs in the chart, but we still holding on to that trend. So again, kind of an important report, whether we're going to hold on to this upside trend or if these, this topping pattern starts to play out in PVH. And last but not least, SPLK, you might want to keep an eye on that one, although this chart has just been a dismal uh, downtrend for a long, long time, and it's not showing any improvements um, this morning so far. So um, 
want to keep an eye on. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if you if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up. And I'm talking really fast because I'm running out of time. But if you guys uh, found this video to be helpful, if you could please click that uh, thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. Those kind of things help the algorithm show uh, the videos to more folks and continue to grow. And please, um, please, please, please feel free to share these videos. Just grab that link and share it out there on your social media feed. That helps other folks see it and continues to help grow the channel. And thank you to everyone who takes the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I can't forget to shout out to all of those folks that are supporting the channel with a buy me a coffee. Um, thank you so much. I, I, I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and stocks that we might want to pay attention to. There was some big moves in precious metals yesterday and then a pullback. Take a look at silver. Silver popped big yesterday and popped right into this price resistance and then ended up pulling back. But overall, we're still holding in our trend here on silver. I think overall, this remains a good potential chart to be keeping an eye on. You also want to keep an eye on gold. GLD as we continue to get stressed more and more stressed out about inflation and more and more conversation about the fact that it may be more persistent than they would like it to see um, like to see it um, anyway keep an eye on that gold has been in a nice upside trend breaking through resistance levels um, obviously we have some resistance above in this chart but we continue to hold above $1,900 an ounce in gold so keep a close eye on that kind of a interesting chart to be paying attention to keeping on the metals um, idea take a look at some copper um, FCX if we get a a passage of if Congress will get out of the way here and or, or do their job and either decide whether they're going to pass infrastructure or not um, we could get some um, um, clues here or some direction from uh, copper take a look at FCX trying to come back up break that downtrend keep a close eye on this FCX trying to turn back around could be a bullish chart to be watching for um, you might also take a look at COPX copper miners starting to perk up again and come through so watch that closely in the chart other places that you might want to take a look take a look at some of the gold and silver miners they continue to set up in these price patterns in the chart continue to look pretty good overall and then i'm going to have to go to steel take a look at stocks like mt mt gapped up big yesterday and holding um, needs to hold above that um, new resistance or support level. Watch that closely in there if that can hold up. MT looking strong. Take a look at US Steel. US Steel pushing back higher. Um, we saw um, Cleveland Cliffs moving up again yesterday. Steel. So those metals are very, very strong light right now and a place to, to watch. I also have to mention energy. Um, um, and financials. Financials holding up very, very well. There's some good looking stocks in the financial sector and in the um, energy sector as well. Some really good looking stocks pushing up. Take a look at a stock like Devon Energy yesterday. Really popped strong, going, uh, going um, really uh, showing lots and lots of strength here. So we're seeing those energy stocks starting to perk up as well. So keep a close eye on those. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Sorry, I was a little bit long winded in the explanation of the indexes, but I think that was important. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day in, in trading. Be very, very careful. Be very focused on that price action and don't become complacent. This is not the market to become complacent. Y'all have a great day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning.